Hello, 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 and welcome into my channel, Skies and Flora. My name is Shaka, and um, as you can see from the title, this is a What Do I Need to Know Right Now weekly reading. So I thought I'd do it slightly different this week. So we're going to make this a pick a card. Um, so this is just a general energy for this week uh, from the 8th of May um, until the 15th of May. Um, and it's just, what do I need to know right now? General energies, tuning in, checking in, um, what can you look forward to or what energies you need to be working with or will be working with um, for the week ahead. So um, we have pile number one, pile number two, and pile number three. So just take a moment to tune in, center, connect to your heart. And then when you feel ready, um, we'll get into the readings. Uh, so pile number one. Um, so I've pre-shuffled and, um, and haven't seen the card. So I'll be finding out with you. So you chose the Do More Teary-Eye and using the um, Sacred Traveller's deck. So we've got Begin Now, Take Your First Step. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the Ten of Swords, Four of Wands... Three of Wands, Six of Wands, wow, my God, so many Wands. <laughs> well, I'm not surprised because you've got to begin now. It's like, go, <laughs> go, go, go. So this is like, that's this energy. So this week is go, go, go. Um, relinquishing and releasing and surrendering. So very interesting. You've got really like two, <laughs> you know, you, 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 this is top and tailed really by these two energies. One of like surrender um one of releasing and then these are just go 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 let's see what have we got here so this is around the home so if there's like a thinking about decorating or just thinking about changing your space or thinking about having a bit of a clear out um this definitely feels like a good thing because we're starting to make space for more blessings we're starting to make space for more good things in our life um feels like abundance like so that could be like an abundance isn't just money it can be money but you know it just feels like more of the good stuff yeah more of the stuff that um brings us joy brings us peace brings us happiness yeah good stuff abundance um let me see Yeah, this also feels like, I don't know if there's a, <laughs> even if there's a house party, but like, I just feel like that as well. Like, if, I don't know if you're w wanting to like have a party or celebrate or invite people around. This also feels like a good thing. Um, there's been an ending of some kinds. So this could be, so for some, this would be a message of having a clear out in the house. For others, this might be that there's been an ending of some sorts. So there's been a chapter that's closed um, in the recent past. Um, and this is about sort of finding, you know, finding our feet again, finding our happiness, finding our joy. This feels incredibly positive. Ten of Swords is always a difficult energy, but this definitely feels like it was in the past. So it doesn't feel like an energy that's around now, but it feels like an energy that we've had in the past. Um, it's cleared away a lot of stuff. And my goodness, this is why, you know, sometimes we're so scared of these cards sometimes, and they're actually incredibly positive because, you know, when we clear away things that don't serve us, we can make space for this. We can make space for good stuff, joy, happiness, um, celebration, entrepreneurship even. So that's what it even feels like here. If it's something you've let go of and then we've kind of like really been able to like focus on our joy and then like you actually be even becoming like entrepreneurial. So that could be in the realm of work or, but it also just feels like, in the area of taking chances, of like putting it out there, you know, really trying to um, draw in, pull in what, what you really want. And, and great success is here, yeah? You've been on a journey here, yeah? There's been a bit of a journey here um, to get to this point, yeah? It hasn't come overnight. Um, but you've really, you've, you've done it with a lot of, joy and a little bit of risk yeah even if i see a bit of risk here you've put sort of put it out there and it's paying off this hanged man feels like hmm enjoy the fruits 
Yeah, that doesn't feel like that's a full stop here. Because this is like begin now, take the first steps, yeah? So do it. Whatever it is you're thinking about doing, is it starting that business? Um, you know, sending out that job application, redoing the CV, clearing out the house, whatever it might be, it's like do it, yeah? And then this is like... Because this energy here, these three ones, is like putting it out there, putting it out there. You know, really like making your play, yeah? And then allowing, yeah? Du these are dual energies here. You know, we always, we've got to work, you know, and that's magician energy. You know, that's magician energy manifesting, yeah? Magician doesn't work with one tool. Magician works with four tools, yeah? So knows which tools to use for which time. That's what this feels like, yeah? So knowing when to go, put it out there, make things happen, and also knowing when to rest and when to um, receive, when to, like, and when it's time to also restore, because this feels like restoring, replenishing, you know, uh gaining more knowledge you know like if that's do a bit of research if it's that starting a business then that's the aspect of like you know doing a bit of research taking your time as well as being active and taking actions anything else So three strong messages coming out here. One, if this is about clearing out your house, this is like, you know, this is definitely, you know, a clear out of the house, yeah? Something needs to go, we need to shift, and we're making space for more success and more things of like, you know, our, like just clearing our energies in order to make space either for this business venture or your next play, your next move, yeah? So in order for us to make the next play, we need to sometimes, we need to get rid of the old. And this feels around the home, yeah? This feels around the house. Um, and this feels like it'd be very fruitful, very successful. Um, and you're going to be learning a lot as well. So take the journey, go with the, go with the, the process. Yeah, doesn't like I said, doesn't happen overnight. Also, this for somebody else, this could be, you know, we've had a clear, like we've had, we've had a strong and absolute ending in the past, recent past. Um, it's cleared away and made space for lots of joy. So this week, I feel like, you know, this is like your, your, that will be apparent. So if it hasn't been apparent already, that's going to become apparent in terms of oh, actually, that Ten of Swords, although at the time it would have been very difficult and painful, actually, now we're starting to see a bit of a turnaround, actually, incre how incredibly positive that was. Sometimes those things are meant to go, and actually, that creates space for more of this. Like, I see inspiration, ideas, um, you know, like, really, like, full of yourself, and in a really positive way when I say full of yourself, you know? Um, not in an egotistical way, but in a really, like, you know, in a buoyed way, I'm joyful, I'm happy, celebrating, I can look out on the yonder, I can hope again, I can, I can, you know, like, think about what might, what might come next, um, and really see the, see the vision, see the success, see it out there, um, and again, trusting that it's going to come to you, incredibly positive, begin now, take your first step, so don't wait, um, this week, so if there's something you've been thinking about doing, that's just confirmation. Do it. <laughs> take it. Take those first steps. Um, anything else? I think that's it. Um, so I hope that resonates. Just short and sweet today. Um, so yeah, changing things around a little bit, trying something different. So just the weekly message. What do I need to know right now? I hope that resonates. Please do let me know in the comments below. Um, and I will see you again next time. Thank you. Okay, so pile number two, um, this is the Lightseer's Tarot and the uh, Amethyst Stone. Um, so let's see what is in store for you this week. Um, so we've got the Sacred Travellers. Uh, grace and gratitude, through gratitude, joy expands. Lovely, being thankful. Four of Swords, Devil Energy, the sun energy, queen of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Right, let's see. Right. <laughs> so first of all here, I just see, you know that expression, devil makes work for idle hands, yeah? So I don't know if there's been a little bit like not enough to do and we're getting a bit sort of like fidgety 
um, and then we get a little bit like, uh, d like, and then and then that's it. The mind gets us in trouble. Then we start thinking about, you know, this kind of like, ah, uh, you know, either you know your mind starts playing tricks on you, or you start doing things that you wouldn't really normally do, or you wouldn't really want to do, and it's just not really like, you know. So it just feels like I don't know if you've had a bit more time and space in your schedule recently. Um, just a little bit more time to ruminate, think about things um, here. Um, and this is the turnaround, which is your gratitude. Yeah, so gratitude practice. So if there's been a, you know, and obviously it's a four of swords as well. So this is about healing and rest. Um, so if there has been something that's happened, you know, that's caused us, you know, our, you know, you've had to take a bit of a time out. Um, you know, sun and the devil, very opposite energy. The devil is like about our subconscious, it's sort of our you know the, the 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 voice that speaks to us that isn't so um helpful really yeah it's just it speaks to parts of us that we want to believe are true that aren't right um or that we think are true but aren't and this sun is like you know clears away all of that yeah it's very very different energy um let's see in here so it feels like if there's something that's happened in the past that's challenged us, ca caused pain or hurt, and we've had to take a bit of a time out, you know, that could be even if, um, you know, if you've had an injury even, or you've been sick, um, or you've been in hospital, or you've had challenges with your health even, that feels like, here, yeah? Because it feels like you've had a, some kind of challenge, and then, you know, and then the, 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 those thoughts and those, you know, that, those, that devil energy is like sort of coming in with like you know the the, the negative self-talk the negative narrative yeah and the sun and I feel like it changes here grace and gratitude so even if we've had a challenging time sometimes this can shift with grat with a gratitude practice yeah and can kind of shine a bit of light on this devil energy which I think would be very helpful now which doesn't mean that things aren't challenging or haven't been challenging but I think it can help get in things into perspective and not because you know the devil just takes us like this down 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 and then that's it um so it feels like we definitely need a little bit of light here in here to kind of break things up a bit and lighten things up a bit um and then maybe this is through a gratitude practice and sometimes you know we do have to look for things that we we gratitude we're thankful for yeah even when we don't ah, you know devil energy isn't you know that's devil energy is never going to find anything to be grateful for um the devil energy is always going to tell you well you know it's going to tell you a story that's quite negative yeah so if there has been a challenge or you've had a bit of time on your hands, you've had a bit of space, this is causing a lot of room, like a bit of rumination, yeah? Gratitude practice, this would help, yeah? Ground us, now we're back in Queen of Pentacles energy. That's what we want. Seven, like seven of pentacles, that's very much like, okay, I remember, I know who I am, I know where I belong, I know my worth, I know that, you know, here, if, if there has been, you know, like I said, challenges with health, maybe you know i don't know been laid off work or something like that maybe had a bit of time too much time on your hand you know actually this is like patience yeah patience and learning the art of you know embracing this if you have to have time you know a bit of time and space to yourself actually see that as a, that could be incredibly positive yeah to be resting and planting seeds and embracing that in a positive way rather than this rumination you know if it's like a lot of social media a lot of scrolling doom scrolling I mean there's a lot of doom and gloom going on in the world you know and that could eat you could easily get sucked into that yeah and this is just sort of drawing back remember remember who who you are remember your worth remember yeah you know, like the seeds that you've planted, be a bit patient, grow your garden, remember gratitude, yeah? So um, I hope that makes sense. So a few different messages coming out here, but definitely just feeling like there's been a bit of time and space, and either, like I said, either that's been through, you know, um, you know, either, you know, recovering from an injury or, or illness, or, you know, or we've had a bit of time off work, or, you know, or we're not doing as much as we normally do. Um, and this just feels a little bit just like, yeah, just, you know, that's allowed us to kind of ruminate a little bit. It's not really helped here, but actually we can turn it around with a bit of a gratitude practice, 
Ooh, we're back on steady ground, remembering who we are, planting them seeds, um, and just kind of getting back on track. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. So, I hope that resonates. Um, so just short and sweet for today. Um, do let me know in the comments below and um, I hope you have a great week and I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Okay, so pile number three. Um, this is the Weo Tarot. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck with this Unikite stone. Um, so let's see, let's see what we've got here for you. What's in store for you in the week? Right, we've got solitude, in silence, peace prevails. Okay, eight of swords, magician. Nine of Cups, Nine of Discs, King of Wands. Okay, let's see what's happened here. Solitude. I mean, well, you've definitely got... Right. This is definitely about being productive, right? So this is... And, and, and I don't mean productive in old paradigm lingo. I mean productive as in, like, really um, harnessing your gifts, harnessing your energy, yeah? In a, in a direction that is serves you and serves your community and serves the world yeah that's what this feels like so we, we're having to draw in now yeah we're having to really draw in our energy here um so this eight of swords feels like so it's just so basically this eight of swords just feels like this is about changing the perspective yeah so if there's been like if there's an, any kind of um like a kind of being disheartened about this solitude or being on your own um or being in silence or a resistance to that um this feels like not to see it like that yeah this is that's what I'm saying this is actually incredibly positive yeah so even you know you've had a bit of time and space and a little bit of um you know time on your own would be very good so even if, if you if you if you're around other people a lot or you've got a lot of noise around you and I don't mean that could be noises in like you know other people's voices or you know being too sociable um but it feels like it's kind of clouded the mind a bit yeah so that just feels like there's a bit of cloudiness here with this eight of swords a bit of sort of like um not really seeing clearly and this just feels like this solitude would be very positive so either that's like you need to get into solitude um or you're in a solitude and you're not really feeling that positive about it yeah um either way we're in we're in a period of manifestation this is where you are this is this is the cycle where you are um because we've got the magician here um and so this is about harnessing especially with that nine of cups magician's about desire as well you know how do you manifest if you don't even if you don't know what you, if you don't know what you want you know you don't manifest just out of the blue you manifest things that you want and this nine of cups is like that's what you want um I love these cards, they're so colourful and bright and like just lovely. Um, so you see these nines, these two nines, it, you've got the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles. Um, and that's just talking about like, yeah, like nine of pentacles is like growing your own garden, you know, being content with what you have and like actually growing your own garden so i don't know don't get caught up in other people's trains other people whatever people are doing what other people are saying all of that that just feels like oh that's going to make things very stuck and you're not really going to get in touch with your ability to manifest your ability to create the life that you really want um so this just feels like oh like you this is good actually so if some people have fallen away this is very positive um if you know if you um you know if you have any fears around being on your own if you have any kind of reticence about being on your own um this is also just saying look you know even here in the silence the in silence peace prevails you see there's a little robin um speaking to her on her shoulder here yeah um, and that's just spirit. That's the voice of spirit. Spirit comes to us in quiet, in solitude, yeah, in calm. Does it come to us when there's busy, when it's busy and it's noisy and we're sociable and there's lots going on? Comes to us when things are quiet, 
yeah and so that's why i say it feels like it could be very very productive for you because then you've got the king of wands and the king of wands you know doesn't faff faff about you know king of wands goes for it yeah knows what he wants and goes for it hits the bullseye this just feels like and it feels like i've got the energy i've got the drive i've got the foresight i've got the vision i've got like you know so it so whatever this period is of like just it's almost in an incubation period yeah so a little bit incubating a little bit in order to like boom, propel forward yeah so this is preparation time just really really being in your own space with your own energy with your own desires and like really incubating that and then ready for the world yeah so that's this week um time and space on your own getting the thought collecting your thoughts yeah getting them back into order not getting tied up either with your own thoughts or with the voices of others um getting in touch with that desire what you want what you're content with and really really building your own garden nurturing coming back to the self drawing in um doing that meditation ready yeah ready to propel forward that's why i say about that product productive um and that's not you know like i said that could be this feels more in the area of like something very meaningful to you yeah that doesn't just feel like oh productive like just working some job that you don't you know you don't really even enjoy but you're just working working work it doesn't feel like that yeah and this feels very much like about purpose particularly with that king of wands that's about purpose that's like you know whatever it might be and if that's like you know you, you've got ideas bubbling around about maybe starting your own business or you know you you, you have an idea about the kind of path that you want to walk or you want to go or follow um if there's any doubts and things like that and this just feels like this could be very very fruitful to incubate these ideas um to really um be in touch with that yeah and really um cultivate this is this is a cultivation time yeah ready to put things into action yeah it's not always action 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 sometimes we need time to rest we need time to hear the voice of spirit we need time to get in touch with our soul um, and we need to be in the peace and quiet to do that in order to then drive forward in the right direction okay I think that's it so I hope that makes sense so that's that's the energies for this week so that's so what do I need to know right now pick a card and um, I hope you enjoyed it I hope it resonates please do let me know in the comments below and um, thanks again for watching and I will see you again next time <laughs>